All right, y'all, so I promised myself, I promised myself that I would do more omnibus reviews, and of course I'm gonna do Hulk by Jeff Love. Ah! <laughs> Hello, good peoples. It is Day Day from Omni Nation Comics. Thank y'all for, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm reaching. <laughs> well, 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 welcome back. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Um, this is a video that is long overdue. Um, because last year I was supposed to do videos uh, like this. Of course, I promised myself to do more reviews on the channel, especially for Omnis, because this is Omni Nation, ain't it? But um, last year was a special year for my favorite characters. Thor, Spider-Man, and most of all, the Incredible Hulk. And it's their 60th anniversary last year, and I didn't get a chance to celebrate because it was such a rough year for me last year. But I'm going to keep my promise, better late than never, to celebrate my favorite character, huh? I love Hulk, right? For those that know me, can y'all see him back there? Can y'all see him? It's a little blurry. I might show y'all that later on in the video or something, but... <laughs> but... Anyway, I want to talk about Hulk by Jeff Loeb to celebrate my boy being 60 years old. By the way, are y'all excited about that Immortal Hulk omnibus coming out this year? Who else is hyped like me? Huh? Who else? Can I take y'all back to my childhood with Jeff Loeb and Ed McGinnis' run on The Incredible Hulk? Can I talk about it real quick? Because this is just a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. And I promise y'all I ain't gonna be long because I don't like to overstay my welcome. I hope I don't bore y'all with my videos. I try to make sure people are smiling. But this right here ain't gonna be a long review because this is not your deep philosophical kind of like Hulk run. I think Jeff Loeb knew exactly what he wanted to do with this run. And it's just to have a lot of fun. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Huh? Okay, are y'all chilling now? Because I'm chilling now. Okay, so I have so many memories with this run. I had this run in trade paperbacks. I had the oversized hardcovers. I had uh, all, almost every format you can think of <laughs> of this run. First of all, Hulk by Jeff Loeb. So this run takes place after World War Hulk. So after Greg Pak's Hulk run, um, yes. This is where this run starts. Jeff Loeb had this idea of taking this character through a smashing good time. There's nothing deep about, well, maybe there's just a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit <laughs> of this run is deep. And But other than that, I think Jeff Loeb knew exactly what he wanted to do. Because I know this run gets a lot of hate from a lot of people. But I think Jeff Loeb knew exactly what he wanted to do with this run, which is make it a big... Hollywood dumb fun action book <laughs> That's exactly what this is So the story to make a long story short. It kicks off with uh, Iron Man right director Stark who you you will find that he's on this mission He's been old been director for years now I'm sure at this point because after Civil War that's where he becomes director, you know trying to protect the world or whatever uh, from various enemies and stuff like that, but there is one new enemy in this story that emerges. This big red... Can y'all see? <laughs> this big red sucker emerges. <laughs> and who is this Red Hulk individual? I'll let y'all read and find out. Because he emerges out of nowhere. He just smashing on folk. That's basically how this story starts off. It's super exciting. You see the Red Hulk going in, <laughs> knocking folks out. It's so much fun. Of course, you see him fight Green Hulk. Uh, She-Hulk is in here. There is a red She-Hulk in here. I'm really not going to reveal who that is. <laughs> by the way, by the way, this should have been called the Red Hulk Omnibus or Red Hulk. Because the story isn't focused around Bruce Banner or uh, 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 Green Hulk at all. It's mostly focused on him and you finding out the mystery of who this him is. <laughs> but you have uh, appearances from other characters in here. Spider-Man is in here. Avengers. 
uh, a whole lot of other characters shows up in here. Abomination is also in here. Well, I'll let you find out which Abomination I'm talking about. But the writing. I, okay, I know this is the biggest part that gets criticism from a lot of fans, including Hulk fans as, as well. But the writing, I'm okay with it, in my personal opinion. And I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, Jeff Loeb, I believe he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Now, is it as good as what Greg Pak did with World War Hulk, or his run period, or what Peter David did with his longevity years of doing the Incredible Hulk or what Bruce Jones did? No, absolutely not. I believe Jeff Loeb was thinking the same mindset of what he did with his Superman Batman run or what uh, Tyler Kirkham and Tony S. Daniel did with Deathstroke in the New 52, in their New 52 run or yeah, just to name a few. I think they ju he just wanted to have fun. That's all. I think he just wanted... He might have been going through something dark and was like, you know what? I'm going to test something up. <laughs> and I believe that was the mindset behind this whole book. It's just to have a good time. And I personally like... Um, I, now we can talk about it. I personally liked who they revealed the Red Hulk was. It wasn't who I thought it was going to be. But it all makes sense. Because this person has been after Hulk for a long time. And for him to go this far... <laughs> I think it's tr extremely comic booky, if that makes sense. <laughs> Hold up. I need to put this in here because I screwed up while editing. But <laughs> I want to talk about the art real quick. If there is one reason to buy this book, people talk about the writing all the time. The main draw of this book is legit the art. Period. I mean, you have artists in here like Dale Keon makes an appearance in here. One of my favorite Hulk artists. Mike Deodato Jr. Oh, Mike Deodato. That is my favorite Hulk artist, okay? But I want to talk about, and there's plenty of other names, but I want to talk about the main artist of this book, the man who really smashed it. And we are talking about Ed McGinnis. This man has a kind of Saturday morning cartoon, anime-ish kind of a style. He draws Hulk, or a lot of these characters in here with these big muscles, veins <laughs> and you'll see once we flip through the artwork it's so vibrant wait hold on who did the colors i just hold on i can't remember his name it was so it was done so well um jason keith that's one of the big names in here who does the colors so vibrant and so much fun ed mcginnis is absolutely killing it i can't wait till we flip through the artwork <laughs> the art in here is killer. Don't care what nobody says. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna throw this in here too. Y'all remember that concept on Hulk where the angrier he gets, the more stronger he becomes? Well, fun fact, when Red Hulk gets angrier, when he gets more ticked off, the man gets heated or he gets more hotter, whichever one you wanna say. Meaning, it's exactly in this picture, the man can burst out heat through his mouth, his nose, probably. His hair. Told that sucker not to use oil sheen near alcohol. But anyway, <laughs> he gets more heated. If you cut him, he will regenerate. Because he, he basically made out of lava in my eyes. Because if you cut him, he'll bleed like this kind of lava-ish looking blood. Oh, yes. So not only does he get stronger, but he gets more heated. More hotter. Now, does that affect him? Mm, read it for yourself. But yes. <laughs> okay, back to back to what I was saying. Like I said, I think Jeff Loeb smashed it. Y'all see what I did there? <laughs> I think he smashed it. I think he knew exactly what he wanted to do. A lot of people are like, oh, that writing sucks and it needs blah, blah, blah. You know what? As a fan, sometimes I don't need everything to be philosophical, deep. Oh, we're going to dig into the deep psychology of... Hulk and what? Nah, nah. Sometimes I just want to see the sucker say Hulk smash and make the earth shatter with fists to the ground. And you know, sometimes I want to see him do what he did in that Hulk movie in 2008 tear that car apart and use it as boxing gloves. <laughs> Speaking of boxing, by the way, when you when we see when you uh see me flip through the artwork later on in this video, you're gonna see like the little stars. The way it's designed, 
it feels like a boxing match. Like, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, they knew exactly what they wanted to do with this book. Like, it, when you read this book, I want you to just hear ding, 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 ding in your head. And you know it's a fight pretty much throughout this whole thing. It's a fast-paced read. Jeff Loeb knew exactly what he was doing. So I, I was fine with the writing. I, I think uh, there were some times, though, I will say this as a little criticism. There were some times where the writing does overstay its welcome. I'm like, okay, Jeff Loeb, this, this is getting ridiculous. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> that that would be my only little critique on that, is that sometimes they do overstay. But I still enjoyed it. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, this, it's just fun. I'm... I could turn to this book if I'm got done reading something tragic like um, Infinite Crisis or uh, Infinity War or Infinity Gauntlet, I should say. Something tragic like that. I can turn to this because it's very fast. You can run through this book really, really fast because the writing is not boring. It just, it's just fun. <laughs> just have a good time you know this is really it's really it really is a summer blockbuster it's purposely to be that way but yeah i have no complaints man this is just i can turn to this if i'm having a really 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 bad day and yeah thank you jeff Loeb and ed mcginnis for this this is just fun so right now we're going to take a look at the artwork um this beautiful sexy jaw-dropping artwork and yeah that's all that's all the thoughts i have i think <laughs> so let's take a look at the artwork okay hear me out before we open up this book i will say this book is long out of print but if you ever go out searching for this out of print book the original cover looks just like this i only got this cover done shout out to kev just because this guy's the star of the show okay just just a heads up all right here we go oh ain't this lovely this issue number one from the 2008 hulk series you have your spine that awesome adam Kubert image here and then the back oh this book is gonna be fun so let's take a look under the dust jacket under the dust jacket you do get oh, more ed mcginnis artwork here oh this is so tight Oh, <laughs> this is so tight. Y'all, let's jump in. Let's jump in. I am super excited to jump into this book with you guys. This is... <laughs> this is Red Hulk writing the Super Surfer 4. I'm not going to tell y'all how this happened. But, oh my God, this was so much fun. I'm not going to spoil that, I promise. So, y'all, the design of this book is pretty unique. It's really designed like a boxing or a battle match. Because, yeah, you have brick wall, brick walls everywhere framing. <laughs> but I really love the way they designed this book. So you see how it says heavyweight title bout in nine rounds? They're not lying. This whole run is basically a match. It's fights everywhere. So you have Jeff Love doing the writing. You have artists up in here. Of course, Ed McGinnis does most of the art in here. Pretty much majority of it. John Romita Jr. is in here. Uh, Frank Cho a lot of these artists that are in this book aren't we've seen them do Hulk before in different runs But this is just this is so much fun the way they ordered this table of contents. I love it. I love it <laughs> Yep more credits over here. Uh, let, let's just go in please round one. Who is? The Hulk or this should have been called who is this red Hulk, but you know what? No, 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 it's fine Who is this Hulk? Or, you know what, who is this Hulk? <laughs> Maybe that would have been a cooler title. But this is the issue cover that I believe should have been there, and I'm glad I got this done. And I didn't even talk about uh, what this book's collect, did I? So, yeah, this has Hulk, the 2008 series, 1 through 24, King Size Hulk, uh, Fall of the Hulk's Gamma, Hulk Size Mini Hulks, and Material from the Incredible Hulk 2009 series, number 600, and Wolverine 2003, issue number 50. This book, do y'all hear me when I say this book is truly a summer blockbuster? Uh, you know what? I ain't going to talk too much. I already talked at the beginning, but I just want y'all to take a good look at this. Oh, this artwork is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Ed McGinnis just does, I love the way he draws veins and, and <laughs> power and beams and stuff like that. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, you know what? Did we... Wait, 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 wait. Do y'all see this page right here? 
So this is where Bruce has been after World War Hulk. If you read World War Hulk, which I believe you should read Planet Hulk and World War Hulk before you read this, just so you could get an idea of how Bruce got locked up up in here. <laughs> so, so check this out. Check this out. Round two, Hulk versus Iron Man. So right here, this is where he shows up. Man, this run is really about that sucker beating the crap out of everybody. What I love about this is just how he shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> Look at this. Ain't this amazing? This really brings out the kid in me, man. I love this. This is so... <laughs> Do y'all see this? This brings out the kid in me. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. He kicks the... Living crap out of luck. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at this. Can't y'all tell me? Look at these colors. This is just amazing. Oh, my God. I'm going ahead of myself. I really am. But do y'all see how they ordered these issues? Yeah, yeah, see how it says the rounds, which basically represents the issues. But I love the way they ordered this. Oh, this is so much fun. Look at this. <laughs> Look at A-Bomb. Look at A-Bomb. I'm not going to tell y'all who is under the identity of Abomination in here, but this is just, this blows me away so much. So freaking good. Oh, I love this. Oh, this brings out the kid in me. Let's continue looking through here because I get too hyped up so much. I remember reading this first. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I remember reading this as a kid, man. And just being excited just because there were so many fights everywhere not every comic book is like this and I don't need every comic book to be like this but every once in a while like I said I like to see my boy just knocking folks out <laughs> and I and you will get it in this run oh my god can somebody help me this is gorgeous and I know this run gets, oh my lord. See, this this art just makes me want to shut up and just let y'all look at it. I should have just had some music or something playing. Because this is just beautiful. But like I said, this run does get a lot of hate. But I enjoy this because I really think Jeff Loeb knew what he wanted to do. He just wanted to uh, just have a mindless good... <laughs> look at Joe fix it. <laughs> I love this issue. This was fun. But... Just how, look at Sentry, but I just love how Jeff Loeb was able to capture the destructive side of not just Green Hulk, but Red Hulk. And <laughs> he was like, you know what, bruh? You know what, Marvel? I bet this is what I'm thinking he probably saying. You know what, Marvel? I'm feeling a little bit angry. <laughs> I just want to let it out in this run. And that's what I feel is happening. So, and it's a lot of uh, 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 collabs that happen in this book, too. Uh, you Avengers is in here. The Defenders are in here. X-Force is in here. The, the Everybody is in here, it feels like. And uh, there it is. <laughs> There's that panel I'm talking about. I couldn't wait to get to this page just to see it in color. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> like I said, this run is a big old boxing match. That's all this is. I'm, oh, I'm gonna just let y'all just take a look at this artwork. Just take a see. I'm just flipping through the right pages today. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, so good. Oh, there's the X Force. I told y'all. There's Wolvie. Oh my God. This is so good. I told y'all, I just have fun. This run really brings out the kid in me. Oh, this is one of the first runs that made me a fan of Hulk. Look at Samson. <laughs> oh, so good. Domino. Oh, this is so much fun. This, I didn't care about reading these. You, you will find these little fun little minis up in here by Audre Lobe. I didn't really care for these. These are fun, but... Nah, -uh, let's continue in the substance. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So yeah, like I said, it's just Red Hulk kicking the crap out of everybody in this run. And the reveal, I will say though, I know a lot of people were not happy with the reveal of 
who the identity of the Red Hulk is, but I totally understand why they chose that. Because this person, ooh, I'm sorry, we already talked about that. Whatever, I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay, this right here, listen to me. Oh, this is round five. Okay. This right here is where I'm like, all right, Jeff Lowe, you, you overstayed your welcome. That's This is what I mean by over. Almost everybody in here gets hulked out for some reason. This is what I mean by it being dumb fun. Like, a lot of people gets hulked out in here. I'm not going to tell y'all how that happened. But it's it's fun. But it's also like, okay, you're doing too much. But I, I love... Oh! <laughs> Look at that. I told y'all... that. Okay, don't go... Like I said, don't come into this run looking for character development or anything like that. This is just a smashing good time. If you want runs like that, go to Peter David or or uh, Bruce Jones or some <laughs> other ones that are deep. This is not a deep run. Okay? Hang on, y'all. Before we even get to the extras... Wait a minute. I just want to have fun with this book now because I don't want to... <laughs> in this too fast but i also don't want to bore y'all so if i bore y'all let me know in the comments i'll try to make these shorter but i wanted to show you guys my favorite <laughs> panel in this book this full uh this image where this is like the final battle between red hulk and green hulk this ain't a spoiler but i'm just saying where hulk red hulk was giving hulk a two-piece and some fries and <laughs> green hulk regular green hulk rolled up out of the ash and was like bruh is that all you got and i ain't gonna tell y'all how that ended i'm sure y'all probably probably already know but <laughs> this was like the final draw kind of reminded me of uh uh neo and mr smith and matrix revolutions it was that epic <laughs> dragon ball z ish kind of a battle <laughs> and there was another one that i liked in here Ooh, another one of my favorite splash pages we almost we almost hit all, all of them too Oh, I love when Thor goes against him in here. Look at the colors in here. This is absolutely amazing. And here's another one of my favorite panels with She-Hulk, Valkyrie, Thundra. <laughs> oh, this looks wonderful. Oh, praise God. And there's another one. <laughs> oh, I love this too. This is unbelievable. <laughs> and there's a Red Hulk. Red She-Hulk that appears in here, and I'm not going to reveal who that is. Man, everybody <laughs> was on their A game trying to defeat this Red Hulk, man. I uh, Okay, let's go to the extras. I'll shut up now. I'll shut up. Okay, I'm done fanboying now. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> here are the extras. These are the variants. Ooh, that Michael Turner. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, love this. Love this. Love this. Uh, Dale Keon, oh, another one of my fake Hulk, fa uh, fake, <laughs> another one of my favorite Hulk artists. He is not fake at all. Uh, oh, this is so cool. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh my God. Oh, this was another one that could have been a wraparound cover as well. But I love this image. So iconic. Uh, oh, so good. Look at all of these variants. By the way, this was printed at the Donnelly printer. Uh, so everybody, I know everybody loved the Donnelly printer. This was back when Marvel was doing a little bit thicker pages. <laughs> and uh, they weren't as thin yet, but they were getting there. Look at the artwork in here. Love all of these variants. This looks so cool. Oh, wow. This one, I need this one on my wall. Like him versus all the anti-heroes in here. I need this. <laughs> uh, there she is again. Look at Mr. Pool. Deadpool. Ooh, there's Punisher. By the way, this... Okay, I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Read this. <laughs> when you see the Red Hulk face, this guy... Oh, I can't wait for y'all to... For those that haven't read this, tell me what y'all think... <laughs> <laughs> when y'all get to with him and punish her face off. That was interesting. Oh, okay. This is dope. Fall of the Hulks. Ooh, there's Modoc. Are y'all ready to see him finally in this upcoming Ant-Man movie? Wow. This is the wraparound cover that they use. It was more of a sketchy, painterly kind of a version. 
But I love this too. This is dope. There's a lot of variants in here as I'm flipping. I'm not even done. Do they even make it like this no more? Do they make Omnis like this no more? I know everything is all small, little tiled up, but this right here is off the chain. This makes Omnis worth the dollar right here. Having all up, uh, and this is the one I had chose for the spine. That awesome Adam Cooper image. I love this. So good. No. Oh. That's the wallpaper of my laptop right now. <laughs> Look at all of these variants. Oh, and you have your sketchbook in here. I love looking at these sketches and looking at the line work. It's so awesome. Cool little panel work. Ooh, there's Electra. Ooh, father. Um. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, nice. Giving you a nice little interview with a lot of the artists that were in here. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, Tim Sale. Oh, Del Keong. Wow. Ian. Oh, Eon Churchill's. Yeah, okay. Cool. And then you have your back end sheets back here. This is so cool. The binding here is actually really, really good. And it's the Donnelly printer, so you ain't got to worry about it, bruh. So, like I said before, if you don't get this book for the writing, get it for the art. This is one big, large art book. The writing doesn't bore me like I told y'all. And I will, I'll talk about that in my closing remarks, but get it for the art. I'm just being greedy, sliding in more time to look at this artwork. Because <laughs> it's so beautiful. If you don't get it for any other reason, get it for the art. I'm telling you, it's so good. Okay, I'm done now. I'll shut up. Alright, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick fix of a review <laughs> for Hulk by Jeff Loeb and Ed McGinnis. Um, like I said, I love this book with a passion. I don't need everything to be deep all the time, like I said. Sometimes I just want to have fun. That's exactly what this book is. Sometimes it does overstay its welcome, like I said, but this is just absolutely fun. By the way, if you're trying to find this book, your original cover looks just like this. <laughs> I had to get it like this because this book doesn't really deal with Green Hulk. It deals with Red Hulk. You're trying to find out who is who in this book. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The artwork is insane. The action is insane. It's just dumb fun. It is out of print. I'm sorry. It is out of print. But I don't know if it's expensive or not. You could probably eBay it or wherever you want to go. But this is really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter. That's all I got for right now. I'm thinking about doing a TikTok, but I'm not sure yet. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all later. And happy 60th anniversary to my favorite character, huh? Expect more reviews on my favorite character because I love him and I really am going to talk about him more. <laughs> but happy 60th anniversary. I might do, uh, yeah, I might do, I'm going to do some reviews for Thor and Spidey as well because it was their 60th anniversary last year as well. But yeah, that was, yeah, I'm going to do some more of that. All right, see y'all later. Peace.